Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel, Melly Jean and Bookish Adventures. My name is Melly, and this is the channel where I talk about anything that is fiber, knitting, crocheting, yarn, crafty related, and also the books that I'm reading. Today is May. May. Oh my God, it's April. April. It's Monday, April something i don't even know what today's date is so i'm sorry about that anyway um it was a long weekend i had the weekend off and um i was supposed to get a lot of stuff done but i did nothing oh my eyes are like weird anyway if you're new to my channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to join me i'm gonna make this one a little short and sweet because i know sometimes i can go on a tangent and ramble Anyway, um, so let's start with finished objects. Well, I finished two pair of socks since I last spoke with you. These are my 100% wool West Yorkshire spinners. I think I showed you one. Here's the other one. Oh, I have to take the thing out. I'm trying to get it nice and... Yes, they are two different heels and toes and cuffs and all that good jazz i did that because i was afraid it was go hmm. i was afraid it was going to run out of um the brown and then i was afraid that i wouldn't have enough of the orange for the second foot it looks like i may have but anyway i thought it was cute they're just house socks just a plain old pair of house socks Nice and warm. I'm not going to use them now, obviously, because it's spring. And then this morning, I just finished my... I don't even remember what this name of this yarn was. I may have the... No, that's not it. Anyway, this yarn was given, gifted to me from a group that I belong to. Uh, a knitting group, a sock knitting group on Facebook. Uh, when it was gifted, I actually have a whole nother ball. I may make um, a gift for my son. Um, I was gifted two balls of the sock yarn. I think it's Croy. I'm pretty sure it's Croy. I could be wrong. Um, because when I first started knitting socks, I didn't have any sock yarn. And it was like a Wish Wednesday type thing. And I was like, I wish I had some more sock yarn. And I didn't have, obviously, at the time, um, AC Moore did not carry sock yarn. And obviously, AC Moore is no longer. And I did not have a Michaels close enough by that I can just go. And at that time, ordering online was new to me. So, um, because I mainly had primarily gotten my yarn from, say, Walmart. You know, whenever I was in Walmart, I would grab some, what, you know, Lion Run or something. Or AC Moore because I worked there. Um, anyway, so that's that. So that's my two finished objects. Oi, what I'm working on is another sock. And if you notice, they're all nine inch needles, which I'll get into in a minute. This is... Oi, I'm all stuck. This is, I think this is Regia. I'm not even sure. I know it's a, and the reason why I'm not sure I don't have the label is because my lovely puppy had gotten, this is yarn I got from the thrift store, from the Goodwill. Um, he had gotten to the ball and I never found the label, the ball band. But I'm pretty sure it's either Regia or, I think it's Regia. It's either Reggie or the Arne and Carlos yarn. I'm not quite sure. If you know what it is, please tell me. But I think it's a Christmas yarn. I think this is Arne and Carlos. I don't even know. But I know, I believe this was a Christmas yarn because the colors made me think Christmassy. So I had balled it up into two 50 gram balls. Um, and I'm using, is my stitch marker cute? Which I will talk about in a minute. Um, 2.25, 10 inch circular needles. Now, I'm going to get into a whole thing about, about this. 
because I have nine inch circulars. Chow Goo. I have Chow Goo. I have Addy. I have Knit Pro or Knitter's Pride. I have Knit Pro because I got them from Hobie, I think, or Wool Warehouse. I have Haya Haya. Nine inch. And I have, I think I, ha I have like Leica, 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 nine inch. So I have like many. Anyway, so I'm working on this one. These nine inches, these are actually knit, Knitter's Pride mind from the Mindful Collection. Now let me get in, I'll get into, which takes me to my next, my next segment, which is acquisitions. Now, I've known about the Knitter Pride Mindful Collection for a while, but I don't need any more needles. Like, I really don't. But I wanted to try them. So, I found an Etsy shop online, and if you search up Mindful Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection, she's the only one on Etsy that sells them that I have found so far. And she sells them at a really great price. So, um, I had ordered some DPNs, and I ordered 2.25, because I wanted to see, you know, it's Knitter's Pride or Knitter Pro. I have Knit Pro um, DPNs, and I have the Zing ones, and they're not, they're got that flat tip. So, I ordered Knitter, Knitter's Pride, and I ordered them in... 2.25. Are these 2.25 or 2.5? And 2.5. So I have my 2.25s here. And they're actually, the tips are different. And I do like them. They're not that, they're not that blunt. But they're not super sharp either compared to say, here I'll show you. Compared to say, uh, Compared to say, these are my Haya Hayas. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you could see the difference. Haya Hayas are definitely a lot pointier and sharper. So I got a set of these and two of 2.25 because I do like to do the, um, matter of fact, let me put these in here. Um, I do like to do sometimes two at a time. Uh, well, two at a time concurrently. Two at a time concurrently. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two at a time concurrently. But I wanted to... These are two point two five. so let's put them over here. They fit? Yes. Okay. But I wanted to um, try them out. But then I realized that, they, oh, I saw 10 inch. So I'm like, all right, it's an inch difference. See, with my nine inch needles, they hurt my hands after a while. I like them. I use them, but I can't. Like, it's it's weird for me after a while. It, it was a learning curve to use them because you have to hold your needles differently, which is fine. Um, Looser. If you hold your needles tight, you have to learn how to hold them looser, which is fine. I don't, I just rest it on my hand, my left hand, and I knit with my right. I do not push. Okay, I'm lying. I, I was about to say, I do not push the tip of the needle, but I do. But I think it's because I'm so used to doing it that it doesn't register to me anymore. I mean, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. I think it's just... Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I was like, let me try these out in 2.25. So I only had ordered one of the double points, like I needed more double points, and one of these. So that way, if this bugged me, I can switch the sock to double points and try those. And surprisingly enough, 
I really like these. I really like the 10 inch needles. I think that extra inch really makes the difference with, it's not hard. Like I did this whole, this whole sock on my 10 inch, my heel, my short row heel, which normally on my nine inch, I would switch over to DPNs for because it's tight and it's hard and it's, you know, um, kind of like frustrating, but I was able to do it. It was a little bit of a struggle, but it wasn't like, it didn't make my hands hurt or anything like that. Whereas my nine inch, what I would do is I would actually, cause I have, I had bought in two, 2.25, 2.2, 2.5, so I can do, when I do my heel, I have a second needle. So I have, you know, kind of like DPNs, but not really like DPNs, if you know what I mean. Um, and I found that way it was a little bit easier. Um, probably an extra step, but it's okay. Anyway, so I really like them and I was like, oh, okay, you know. I want a whole set, but I didn't buy a whole set, don't worry. But I did buy a whole set of the DPNs. Not from the Etsy shop. But I, I like these DPNs. I like my child goose, but I like these too. My child goose are, were expensive. And these were about the same price, I would say, that I paid. But I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so each needle has a, a meditation on it. And the 2.5 say calm. And the 2, I'm sorry, the 2.25 say calm. And the 2.5 say love. So I really like that. I mean, and the DPNs also say calm. So I think it's not by type of needle. I think it's by size. So I really like them and I may... I did order a 2.25. I keep saying 2.25. I did order from her a 2.5 circular, which is fine. Um, cause I'll, I, I will still switch to DPNs for my toes. Cause that's just easier for me, which leads me on to my next acquisition. I had went online and Buttermilk Cottage, because I have random non-sets of DPNs and I was running out of room in my other holder, I bought this. And I think it's so pretty. kind of looks a little bit vintage. Very well made, very heavy. It's like, um, I don't know, it feels like a tapestry, it's like a curtain material. It's very pretty um, for my random my random um, needles. And you could see it just folds over. I just got a small one because I don't have that many and then it just folds over again. And there's a cute little needle case. It's got a cute little ribbon on it. I may actually And she actually sells sock needle sets in bamboo, which I don't need, but I may purchase at one point. Don't tell my husband. And I just put her card there. And, and I like that it's flat. I love that. I love that it's flat. And then I also purchased from Creative Cash Crochet which is where I had gotten this one. And I actually have another one for DPN needle holders. I had purchased um, another DPN case. And I think this is so pretty. And it says Creative Chaos Crochet Coffee Yarn and Chaos. So like, I love the fact that each one of her, um, her name is Michelle. And I didn't open it yet because I don't want to get it dirty. But I love the fact that each, like, it's very, it's very well made, you can see. And purple is my thing. And I thought it was very springy. So, 
and they work very well. I love this one. I don't know why. I just love this one. I have another one somewhere upstairs, but I really like my London one. I don't know why. I just do. Anyway, also from um, where I got my um, Mindful Collection, I wanted to try Nova Cubix Platino. I don't like them. They're too slick for me. They're sl I've decided. We've, we've decided. Um, I mean, they work well. I've used them. I tested them. They're made well, obviously. Um, but I don't like the smooth, which I should have known better because Platina, hello. I don't like the smooth, um, slidey, slippy um, needles. I like my needles to have a little bit of a... Um, matte finish. I'll probably use them again. Maybe. <sighs> Who knows? But again, I have so many VPNs. Like, I may end up just, like, selling them. What else did I buy? I also bought from the Mindful Connection. And I love these little... Oh, wait. I love the bags. They're the cutest little bags. If anything, I wanted the bags more than the stuff. A row counter. And I like this one because I can lock it. And I also bought, you will see, and this also comes in this cute little bag. And then it comes in a cute little canvas case. The seven, the chakra stitch markers. And I thought these were really, really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. And oh, oh no, I'll get it after. But they come in obviously all different. symbols and it's really like it's really well made you, oh I'm dropping them all you can see they're really well made and I believe they're plated silver sterling silver plated so that's really nice now where did I drop you at I keep dropping stuff today I'll find you in a minute. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I don't see you. You're not right by my feet. Anyway, so I bought that. So that's about it. That's about it for today. Things I've bought, things I've purchased and decided I didn't like. The needles. Um... Yeah, I, I, I've I discovered, like, I think it's because when I first started doing socks, I was using the Knitter's Pro Zing in there, that the colored needles, but they're not shiny. So I think I took a sh liking to that more than a shinier needle. So I've discovered, like, the Drops Pro Classic needles. I don't like those. Not that I don't like them because they're a bad needle, but I don't like them because they're too slippery. Um... So I've just, I have discovered what it is that I like. So that's good. That means no more sock needle buying. I have enough. Um, I have my chow goos and now I have the mindful set that's coming. And then I have my zings, which I don't have a whole set of the zings, but I have enough. Um... So I'm not going to be buying any more needles. And then I have my vintage ones, which I won't use. So I guess that's it for today. So you've seen I finished socks. I'm working on socks. I've made some purchases, which my husband's like, what the heck? But it's not his money, so he can't 
he doesn't he doesn't care let's put it that way he doesn't care that i buy it it's just that he's saying you know you have it already you don't need any more so like he's like now it's becoming like are you a collector are you gonna re are you gonna sell them like what are you are you you can't use it all at once that type of thing so i have decided i am officially done i will use what i have i like my nine inches i like my ten inches basically like i had said before um when I knit my socks, it's just it, what I'm in the mood for. Like what I want to use for that day. Do I want to use double, double pointed needles? Do I want to use nine inch needles? Do I want to use wood needles? Do I want to use, which I don't have many wooden needles. But like, you know, what do I want to use? Like when I got my nine inches, I was all about the nine inch needle. I was like, okay. So I think that's my issue. My issue is I find something I like and then I want all of all of it. And then I find something else I like and I want all of it. Well, now I have many things that I like. So I guess I'll start using what I have. So you guys have to hold me to that. If I come back where I bought, I'm more um, DPNs. Somebody needs to yell at me. I may buy, save up and buy a set of these. And then I could say, okay, now I'm done. But for right now, I'm not buying anything else. So I guess that's it for today. I will see you guys later. Um, don't forget to like, comment, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down. I don't think you can anymore. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite knitting needle is or favorite sock needle or what. Do you use DPNs? Do you use nine inch? Do you use magic loop? What do you do? How do you, do you knit socks? What is your favorite thing to knit? Let's have a conversation, people. I'm waiting for someone to conversate with me. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.